JP, just firstly, your thoughts on the match. You know, where, where did you think it, it went wrong for you guys? Yeah, look, I, I thought the first half was uh, we were competitive. Um, you know, we, we didn't penetrate. I, I thought we could have had the more forward runs. Uh, we didn't do that. Uh, but in terms of having possession of a ball, we, we didn't get behind them uh, in that uh, attacking third. And, um, and the second half was, uh, was very, um, you know, there was only one team in it, really. Uh, they always looked dangerous. Uh, they had a lot of space. Um, and we got punished for it. Uh, this obviously, this result's obviously a hammer blow for you guys when you look at the teams around you and uh, uh, who's got who's played as many games. I mean, do you think that the finals, you know, still? I know it's a mathematical chance. Do you, do you still think it's achievable now? Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll keep on going. Whilst we've got games ahead of us, you know, there's six points here up for grabs. You know, we'll continue to do that. Um, you know, we'll, we'll still strive to, to win the last two games. Uh, that's, our, that's our responsibility, that's our job, and uh, we need to continue to do that. Uh, that's, that's me. Pete Smith, you'd like to ask the next questions? Pete? Hey, Pete, um, was, was there any concern of fatigue given you've had three matches in a week and you haven't played for four months before that? Look, uh, you know, we prepared the team uh, as as per normal. Uh, you know, the excuses, you know, that's where, you know, the mentality comes into play. Uh, you know, you need to to step up and, um, and, uh, and work, you know. Um, Without that, it, it, it makes a, it makes a difficult uh, a difficult game. You struggled a little bit to, to penetrate, especially in the first hour or so. Was that uh, due to Perth's organisation, or what did you put that down to? Yeah, it was it was mostly um, you know there, there wasn't enough forward runs uh, when we needed to. Um, you know, we received the ball a lot at our feet. Um, you know, so to penetrate, you need to make forward runs. Are you still alive in the in the finals race? Will you approach the remaining games any any differently to what you've done so far? No, 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 no. We'll we'll, we'll continue to work on on what we believe in, and um, and uh, you know we we need to just be better at um, you know at times in in uh, in tight areas, retain the ball a little bit more. Uh, you know, we need to. Uh, Create more forward runs and uh, and and also honouring those forward runs, you know. Okay, Marco, would you like to ask the next questions? Yeah, good day, Jasper. I know you said that Perth sort of were the better teams in the in the uh, second half, but did you think after Mitch made it, you know, one one, that there was something there that you know uh, that you're a chance? Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, you know, I, I believe in the group and. Um, you know, they, they responded well after the setback, which was good. Um, by saying that, at, at times we, we just needed to um, make sure we denied the space, uh, especially the ball carrier. Yeah, you know? so that, that's something that we'll look at and, uh, you know, we need to have pressure on the ball. It's very important. Marco, okay, more questions? Um, no, I was just going to ask you how um, Muller is, if, if there's any updates on the scans. No, he sent, he sent the boys uh, a, a message today. Uh, he's resting at home. You know, he's recovering and uh, he's just going through the protocol. Um, you know, he's in good spirit. So uh, it's just time now. It's just time for him. Thanks, okay. Jeff. Nick Taylor, do you have any questions? No, I don't think so. Don, do you have any more last questions? Yeah, I, I do. Um, JP, you mentioned uh, some of the problems in the attacking third, lack of forward runs and, and you know, the, the balls that were played in. When you got five subs, were you tempted at all to put someone like Costa Gropos into the game, you know, really good creative young player who could have maybe changed it? Yeah, we, we, we definitely looked at it. Um, but we felt that, uh, you know, Mo, Mo would give us, give us that a little bit more. 
you know, he's, a, he's an attacker. Uh, he likes to uh, score goals and, um, you know, he had one opportunity just on the edge of our 18-yard box. So we felt that, uh, you know, Mo, Mo would give us that. With, um, I, I guess, probably Costa Grosos is maybe stylistically the closest replacement you would, you would have for Nikolai Muller in that sort of creative number 10 role. Was there any temptation to, to fill him at all? I mean, you, you have, you've got five subs, and I, unless I'm wrong, I think you made four today? Yeah, we made four today. Uh, yeah. yeah, we feel we feel that uh, Kwame Kwame would give us more in those areas. So uh, that's why he started, and um, you know, and we felt that he'd be more effective.